Good morning. Let me go live over here on Facebook. So we're starting a new section and the title is, what is the body? And the lesson that we have is lesson 261. <clears throat> and the title of that is, God is my refuge and security. God is Is my refuge. Beautiful. As we go live on Facebook. Morning, everybody. How are you guys? Um, woke up this morning at about 7 a.m. After going to sleep at 11, so I got a nice eight hours, which was delightful. And uh, I have the front door open, Astro's outside on the porch. And my best friend Sherry walks up with her pup, hey, Georgie. Yes. And she says, hey, you want to go for a walk? And I'm like, yeah, I have the front door open, Astro's. So I ran and threw some clothes on. But there was a package, and it had these four dresses in it, the cutest dresses. This is a really cute dress. It's got little openings on the sleeve and a little opening in the front and it's very flattering. Anyway, so came home like a hot sweaty mess <laughs> and uh, tore off the sweaty clothes and threw on this little dress so I'm ready for today. Anyway, um, good morning America, good morning. Someone who loves me sent me the French version of the Course in Miracles. I'm so excited for this. Thank you for the gift, beloved. Jorg sent this to me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. From the Foundation of Inner Peace. Oh, whew. still a little sweaty. All right, let's see who we have here today. We have Jorg, Lorianne, and Benke. Good morning, my darlings. Good morning to all of you. Anyway, I got a great walk in this morning. Oh. Good morning, America. Good morning, Virginia. Good morning, Portsmouth. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Astro. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God, you guys are so cute. All righty. So let us see. What is the body? I'm ready for this. I'm excited. What is the body? The body is a fence the Son of God imagines that he has built to separate himself from his, to separate parts of him, his self <clears throat> from other parts. It is within this fence he thinks he lives to die as it decay and, decays and crumbles. For within this fence, he thinks that he is safe from love. Identifying with his safety, he regards himself as what his safety is. How else could he be certain he remains within the body keeping love outside? The body will not stay, yet this he sees as double safety, for the son of God's impermanence is proof that his fences work, and do the task his mind assigns to them. For if his oneness still remained untouched, who could attack and who, who, who could attack and who could be attacked? Who could be victor? Who could be his prey? Who could be his victim? Who the murderer? If he did not die, what proof is there that God's eternal son can be destroyed? The body is a dream. Like other dreams, it sometimes seems to picture happiness, but can quite suddenly revert to fear where every dream is born. For only love creates in truth, and truth can never fear. Made to be fearful, must the body serve the program given it? But can we change the purpose of the body? But can we change the purpose that the body will obey by changing what we think that it is for? The body is the means by which God's son returns to sanity. Though it was made to fence him into hell without escape, yet has the goal of heaven been exchanged for the pursuit of hell. The son of God extends his hand to reach his brother and to help him walk along the road with him. Now is the body holy. Now it serves to heal the mind that it was made to kill. You will identify with what you think you make, 
You will identify with what you think will make you safe. Whatever it may be, you will believe that it is one with you. Your safety lies in truth, not in lies. Love is your safety. Fear does not exist. Identify with love and you are safe. Identify with love and you are home. Identify with love and find yourself. So gorgeous. And then here's lesson 261. God is my refuge and security. I will identify with what I think is refuge and security. I will behold myself where I perceive my strength. And I think I live within the citadel where I am safe and cannot be attacked. Let me today seek not security and danger, nor attempt to find my peace in murderous attacks. I live in God. In him I find my refuge and my strength. In him is my identity. In him is everlasting peace. And only there will I remember who I really am. And here's the prayer. <clears throat> Let me not seek for idols. I would come, my father, home to you today. I choose to be as you created me and find the son whom you created as myself. So beautiful. Okay. Let's see what our beloved Magdalene has for us today. I'm excited about this. Greetings, beloved ones. Beloveds, when you come to understand that God is the source of your peace, God is the source of your sanity, God is the source of your safety, you will no longer identify yourself as one who can be threatened, one who is not loved, one who is abused, one who is alone, one who is separate from other beings. You come to see that the message that all beings have for you is love and only love. When you allow yourself to believe that you are not joined with the very creation that breathed you into life, you are left to the machinations within your mind that say, I am not safe. I can but die. There is one certainty and that certainty is that I will die. Beloveds, there is but one life in many versions that are in accordance with the cycles that you have created within your mind that say, I will be a man, I will be a woman, I will be a king, I will be a queen, I will be a murderer, I will be a scoundrel. These various and sundry versions of self have been created by the mind, but they have nothing to do with the truth of you, the truth of you that is love, the truth of you that is light. So when you look for security within the body, within the castles that you think that you can build to keep away the marauders, to keep away the predators. Understand, beloveds, that all of that exists within your minds. And none of that is real. Were you to know and truly understand that you are loved, you are loved and you are supported and you are guided. And all that you have done is turned off the ability to hear and to feel this guidance, to feel this love, to feel the support. When you allow yourself to once again know that God abides where you are, with you always, that you are loved and that you are supported, you are never left alone, you are never abandoned, you are never separate. When you allow yourself to remember the grace that created you, the love that embodies you, you will lay down the foolishness to believe that you have a physical body that can be harmed, that can be broken, that can be destroyed and that dies. But none of that is true, beloveds. The truth that is true always is that you are so deeply connected to and bound to the endless love of the creator, the light that created you, the gods and the goddesses that molded and shaped you exist within you. 
you are the very embodiment of all that is holy. There is nothing that you need safety from, beloveds. There is nothing that you truly need refuge from. You are the very safety and the refuge. You are the very embodiment of all that is holy. For God is where you are, always. Supporting you, reminding you, whispering to you. Come home, beloved. Come back to the place that you have truly never left and lay down the belief in the mind that says that the body is real and allow yourself to know one truth and one truth only, that what is truly real is love. And when you allow that love to permeate your heart and you stop using a, the body as a weapon against yourself, you will truly have come to know once again that you and the Father are one. That you were created with love, in love, as love, and for love. And that is the truth of you. The truth that is always true. So allow these words to permeate your hearts, beloveds. Allow these words to seep deeply within so that you may know and remember the truth of you. And the truth of you is that you are a blessed and divine child of light and love, as you always have been. Blessings to you, precious ones. We are with you, but a thought and a breath away. And we will speak with you again. Thank you all for being here on this gorgeous Saturday. I wish you guys the most wonderful weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.